Hey there, so today I uh, ended up getting some positioning jacks from Canadian Tire. This is an updated version. Uh, I guess they used to sell an old version that was hydraulic. And they were stronger, but they didn't last as long. So I just wanted to show you how this style works. So one thing I found out is that there's rollers that these go under the wheel. And you just pull this together to uh, lift up the car. So there's a uh, part here. Once you lift this up, you can slide it back and forth. This rail is very greasy, so you'll want to keep that away from yourself. When you want to lift up the vehicle, you flip up this tang, and you start pushing down on here. Now when this is on the ground, it will work. So uh, I'm going to put this down on the car. I'll show you what I'm trying to do. And then uh, with any luck, by the end of this video, I'll have the car where I want it to be. Alright, so I got the uh, car up on three of the four jacks. I'll get the uh, fourth one up. I'll lift that for you so you can see how that works. So this is a uh, two-door garage. And it's a bit wider on the one bay, but you can't get up to the uh, vehicle door. There's uh, an obstacle in the way. So I push it in this far. And I tried to drag the car across, across the room using uh, a three-ton aluminum jack. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I ended up tearing off a wheel. So uh, casters are not my friend. I guess when you put a lot of weight on it and start pulling sideways, uh, the wheels will rip off. So I'm trying to find a replacement caster. Canadian Tire didn't want to warranty it. I don't know if I'm upset with them or not. If I kept the receipt, it wouldn't have been a problem. But uh, I couldn't remember which store I bought it from, and they didn't want to uh, deal with a $400 jack that was broken without a receipt. So uh, I got to get around this pole, which is the obstacle, and uh, swing the car in here, back end against the block wall. Then the intent is that uh, once I uh, do some body repairs on the car, I'm going to take the uh, body off and put it in the uh, bay near myself. And uh, do a bunch more work on the frame, eventually get the car back together. I got a goal, I don't know if it's realistic or not, so I'm not going to bother saying what that goal is. So uh, let's go take a look at the jack. I'm on a uh, stand right now with the camera, so it's tricky to work around. So basically, you pull this all the way apart, line it up with the wheels, you push down. until you feel that you've got the uh, car off the ground. Now you don't put your finger underneath the wheels to get it off the ground, but feeling like a little bit more. These tires are flat, they don't have any compressor at the moment. So that's part of the problem here. So once you're up, put this clip in that holds the lever down. When you want to put the vehicle down, you flip this over, take this uh, lever off, and I believe you jack it down. That's my understanding anyway. Haven't done it yet. So this would be a great product there if you had a boat you wanted to get in the garage or what have you. So hopefully we can get this car to move. The tires were flat and frozen when I got the car in here. So that's sort of why it's stuck where it is. So we'll start working our way around. So it actually moves very easily. I don't know if you can tell, the concrete is quite spalled over in this area and it's on a slope. If you had a really sloped driveway, you wouldn't want to put the car up on four sets of casters because it might end up in the middle of the street. So be careful where you try to do this. Okay. We've got a seat better than you know that crash today. Excuse me, one
call purchase. So you can see you don't need a bunch of people to move a car. How heavy is this car? I'm not exactly sure. The body is empty. It's got a Ford 5 liter V8 in it. Take a quick look on the inside in case you're curious. It's got some issues, but we'll work our way through that. The dash is in. I can't imagine that's very heavy. It's just all sheet metal. The car's got a little bit of wood in it. This is a 1934, so it's uh, 85 years old right now. But really, it has a lot in common with the current vehicles. It's just got a solid front axle, and we've got a differential across the back. King pins on the front. Not a lot to it, I don't think. Uh, so anyway, I'm pretty happy that that worked out. Gosh, I won't need to use these for a while now, but at least uh, I've got a means of moving the vehicle when need to be. I bought them, I think they were 160 bucks a pair. You need two pair. So uh, I don't know what the prices are gonna do next. They got some fairly bad reviews if you look at them because they didn't change the product number when they went from the hydraulic to the uh, like lever style. So the, uh, the hydraulic ones, like I said, they leaked, but they were more capable. So this set's good for 5,000 pounds all in. I don't know if you could lift a Jeep Grand Cherokee and move it around or not compared to this car, because like this car is only, I don't know if it's 2,000 pounds or not, compared to probably 5,000 pounds for the Jeep. But uh, maybe someone else who's used one of these before can chime in whether it's as easy as I just had. So we'll take a look at the, the quality of the floor. So this is the part of the driveway that you've been able to use before I rented it because uh, you can see it's all spalled from the road salt and whatnot. So uh, there's some divots here. Like I said, I. Uh, Rip this jack apart. The uh, caster came off. Which is kind of funny because the week before I tore the caster off my engine crane. And this thing is completely metric and it uh, it's a SunX. It's a very good engine crane, but if I need to buy a caster from SunX, it's like 50 bucks US or something. Which is a bit more than I'd like to pay, so I kind of wish I hadn't torn that off. It was half buried in the frozen mud when I decided to move the car. It still has snow on it. And I used a pry bar to get it out of the mud. And like I said, I ripped off a wheel. So uh, now I can't get the engine out of my car. So I've got to fix that uh, pretty soon. So I'm getting kind of excited to get working on this thing. So again, hopefully the video was helpful. I'm impressed I didn't rehearse this at all other than I lifted up the three wheels before I lifted up the fourth. Just so I know how to do it. I guess we can try and put one down, and then we'll wrap this up. That way we can kind of call it a complete video. So, apparently you flip this lever. Hopefully this is not like a farm jack or something and everything comes fly out of my face. Seems relatively safe. There you go. Right, so I guess that's a wrap. So everything we need to see.